Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, first I waited really late in the day to do my makeup. I had some things I was trying to take care of earlier. I kind of talk about it while I'm doing my eyeshadow, like what exactly happened, but it's five, oh, it's five o'clock right now. Um, I've never waited this late in the day to do my makeup. Usually by this time I'll like can X the entire operation and it's just not gonna happen. But I still have some errands that I need to run and I also got a package that I ordered a couple days ago and it arrived last night. So I was really excited to try out the eyeshadow palette and the other items that I ordered. So I decided to do my makeup anyways and I'll just be running my errands like way late in the day when there's traffic after work. Yay for me! Anyways, so today we're going to be using the new French Riviera palette and uh, the Blush and Bloom Cheek and Lip Duo and the Honey Kiss Shimmer Lip Kit from Jouer. So this is the French Riviera palette. It's really pretty brush of color. Um, on the neutral side, but there's also some pops of color in there that we played around with. Um, the Honey Kiss Shimmer Lip Kit and the Blush and Bloom uh, Cheek and Lip Duo. Those are a lot of fun to try out with. Try out with? Try out. Sometimes I know how to talk. Um, but you guys, I just, I wanted to play around with these, especially since they came in last night. Um, if you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button down below, hit the bell for notifications, new videos. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. I really appreciate it. It helps me out. And if you want to see how I got this look using the Jouer French Riviera collection, just keep watching. So I already started and primed my eyes with the P. Louise base. But today we are using the Jouer French Riviera palette. The packaging is really cute. Um, I actually feel like the like outside packaging to the other items in this collection is like super adorable. But this is what we're working with today. And then the eyeshadow palette. So there is a mirror in here. And then there is a nine pan eyeshadow palette. I'll be honest, when I saw this online, I was like, okay, it's kind of neutral. I can always use a neutral palette with like pops of color. This kind of reminds me of like, what was it? The Kylie like seashore. I'd have to find it. It's in one of my totes, how where everything else is. But when I got this, there are some like really pretty pops of color. And I don't know why I'm holding on to <laughs> my brushes. Like, like I'm going to lose them, but this shade right here, what is it? Piscine. And then this shade right here, which is bronzage, bronzish. And then ocean and fluor. Those are the shimmers in here. And I kind of just, oh, I want to swatch them. So pristine and bronzage. So pristine, bronzage, uh, they're kind of like powdery. And then Ocean and Floor, which are these two really pretty shades right here. They are so buttery and smooth. Um, let's go ahead and we're just going to swatch them right here. Okay, those are so beautiful. I don't know that I want to use bronzage. Is that how you say it? Bronzage? I'm not sure, but I do kind of want to play around with this blue shade right here, Pristine. I think that's how you say it. I'm really bad at names sometimes. And then Fleur, which is really pretty, but I also like, ah, oh, I like the green as well, which is Ocean. So, I mean, granted, we're going to get a neutral look out of this because these two shades are pretty much like your crease and your like outer V and then you also have sable which kind of looks like green more than like a brown so I figured we would at least start with those and then however we feel we want to like build the colorful parts of this but I think I'm going to dip into this first shade Soleil which is this tan shade I'm going to use 
my Sigma E25 and put that into the crease. I really hope the lighting is not too bad. I did wait. <laughs> I mean, it's 3.30. Um, I was trying to take care of some things that I need to like set up for the house. All right, so I'm gonna go into this shade Paradise, put that in the outer V and then into the crease. Like this morning when I woke up, first I woke up to a wasp in my bedroom. Um, haven't seen it, but I also like, there's a dead wasp on the floor. So I think Sochu actually killed it. Um, she's been like, kind of all happy about things. You know how, like when cats or dogs, like they kill something and they bring it to you and they're like super happy about it. Well, I found the wasp and I was like, did you kill this? Or is this like a different one? Haven't seen it. So I assume she killed it. Like one, how did he get in the house? I don't know. Um, but I did check her to make sure like she didn't get stung if she did kill it. Cause I don't know if it just like got inside, died naturally or whatever. But this morning, I, that's what I woke up to. So I kind of like, I saw it and I was like, all right, cool. We're not going to deal with you today. So I got ready. My friend has some gym equipment in her garage. So I used that. And then I was like, you know what? Switch in the bathing suit, go swim, cool off, do a couple laps, did that. And then when I came upstairs, hadn't seen the wasp, but then I moved something and it was like right there at the wall. So I wonder if like maybe she pounced it and it died. Does that, is it just that simple? Um, I did check her to make sure like she didn't get stung. But I mean, she was downstairs most of the time that I was down there. Um, cause I tried to keep her like out of the upstairs. So I made sure to feed her cause she loves her food in the morning. Um, and then I've just been kind of like staying downstairs trying to take care of some things. Cause that's the other thing is if you try and swat a wasp and you miss it and you anger it, like I'm not trying to get stung. So I just figured I would let it, let it do its thing. Maybe it'd figure out how to get back outside. Maybe. Um, <laughs> not that much of an issue. Like don't bother it. It won't bother you type of thing. Um, and there's plenty of places to escape to if it came flying around again. And if it came downstairs, I could like around me, I could open the doors, but there's not really a door except for to the hallway upstairs. All right. So that's building very pretty, beautifully something. All right. Now I'm going to go into this shade Sable. I'm only going to use a little bit of it. I don't want it to be like too dark, but I do want to darken up the edge. And this is a E54 from Sigma. I have really been enjoying the Sigma brushes. I've never used them before. And then one day I just decided to order some new brushes when I saw them. So, you know what, why not? It's not like I have an entire drawer of brushes. but I have been enjoying them. I still use my Laura Lee brushes a lot, which I do really enjoy the Laura Lee eyeshadow brushes and the contour brush and the foundation brush. Those are really good. Um, but I did want to try the Sigma brushes cause I'd never tried them before and I've heard great things about them. All right. So we kind of, grunged it up a little bit. Like, do we go grungy in the French Riviera? I've been to France. I haven't been to the French Riviera, but we did get it a little bit darker, which is nice and not like too, I wouldn't say it's too grungy. It's just 
a little green. All right, so I'm thinking I'm gonna take the shade Ocean. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Ocean. And then maybe put Pristine from the inner corner over it and see how that blends. So. Ooh, yes, that color is so stunning. Yep. But when I realized what time it was, I was like, oh shoot, I need, like I actually had errands I needed to run today. Um, but I did need to take care of some things for the house. Granted, the closing is in like 28 days, but there's still like, I got the loan application in yesterday. Um, I did a lot of the paperwork yesterday, but like setting up the utilities, cable, all that type of stuff. That way upon closing and getting keys, like I have power, gas and all that stuff set up which would make it nice because then I can like then schedule my like pack out delivery. Okay. So I really like that. I am going to go back in with sable a smidge and just kind of like blend that edge. So it's not too harsh. Okay. That's really pretty. Now I'm going to go into Pristine, which is this blue shade. I'm going to put that on my ring finger, tap it in from the inner corner out and see, cause it looks like it's more of like a topper than like an actual shade, but I don't want like, Ooh, that blue right there is really pretty. I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but Go in a little bit more. Ooh, I really like how that turned out. I hope that you guys are seeing it on camera the same way. Um, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead, do this eye, most of my face makeup because there is a cheek and lip duo. So it's kind of like a cream blush thing. So I want to use this, which means I can't do my powder first. So I'm going to go do that and I'll be right back. Hey guys. So I have finished up my bronzer concealer. I have not powdered because I have the Jouer blush and bloom. This is in parasol and coquille, but can we appreciate this box? It is so beautiful. Just, the detail that goes into their packaging is stunning. This is a cheek and lip, cheek and lip duo. Um, so this one is Coquille, which is kind of like that, like peachy shimmery shade. And then this one, so you know I haven't opened it because <laughs> they still have them. This is a parasol, which is such a pretty, like peachy pink shade. I think I want to go with parasol. That one is so beautiful. All right. So I don't know if I like want to like swipe it on and then blend it out. Or I wonder like, let's see. I think I'm going to tap this on a little bit, see if that works and then use my brush to blend it out before I powder. Okay. So stamping it on gives me a little bit of color. Then again, it's not warmed up. So let's see, or we can take with the brush and see. That works. The other thing is just remember, because this is going to go under powder, it may tone down or mute it a little bit. I mean, there is a really pretty sheen for me though. I do need to powder because I will get super oily. Um, that's been a lot of fun 
um, with this weather, which I asked for this weather. I'm not complaining about it, but just, you know, finding out what products work in this temperate climate, temperate temperature um, and humidity compared to like what I was using in Chicago. Cause I feel like certain products that I was using in Chicago and I loved in the summer are not working here. Um, and that's just like some of the like makeup sample sizes that I was using. They were doing great in the winter. They're not doing so great in the summer. So that just means that I change up my like makeup. Ooh, you guys, I am loving like no blush blush. Um, I don't know if I want to do like more knowing that it's going to you know, like mute, mute down, mute, mute down a little bit. Okay. I'm going to go ahead, do this side, put some powder on, <laughs> do my eyebrows and then I'll be back so we can finish off the eyes. And then we have a lip product too. <laughs> okay. You guys, that was one heck of an adventure with my eyebrows. Just trying to like, I'm not even sure if they're perfect right now. I have been so against getting them microbladed, but at the same time, like it might be easier to just have it done. Like anyone have it done and like, can you tell me what it's like? Cause it looks painful. I'm gonna tell you that right now. All right. So let's go ahead and finish off the eye look. Um, these, I think I'm going to go in with this shade, this shade, and then smudge in some of, so Soleil, Paradise, and Sable. I'm going to, in the order that I use them on my eye and like the crease and everything, do the same thing underneath the eye. And where is my handy dandy little pencil brush? I really hope the lighting is good on this. I am really sorry. I should have gotten my butt in gear way earlier this morning, but I needed to get some stuff done for the house. So it's nice to like have all the utilities set up. So really all I'm trying to do is like, what stuff in the house do I want to like switch out and like decorate with? I know the one thing that I want to do now that I have room is get like a king size bed. So I did find one of those on Wayfair that I want to get. Um, but now I need to go find a mattress because I have a queen size bed and that mattress will not fit a king size. I mean, it will, it's just going to look weird. So do I want to go mattress shopping? No, but I guess that's the way it's going to be. All right. Maybe I need a bigger brush. We're going to switch over to my handy dandy L19 from Laura Lee. Go into Soleil again. I think the pencil brush will be for Sable. That's what we'll do. Why is, oh, you guys, my lighting, I am really sorry about this. I will make sure that I'm filming in the morning. I, I can't be mad though. Like one, I took too long and two, I'm so thankful that my friend is letting me film in her. But it's also on me that I took this long to do my makeup today. But I really wanted to film with this because this came in the mail yesterday. I was so excited. I saw the email notification saying it was delivered. And I was like, where is it? It wasn't on the front porch where I thought it was going to be. It was in the mailbox. So I ran out there. What's funny is she had already checked the mail. So when the email notification, I think the postal or whoever, it wasn't the post office that delivered it. Um, probably UPS or FedEx. I think they just dropped it in the mailbox or maybe cause I know when I was in Chicago, sometimes you have a mail carrier that like dropped off just paper mail. And then there was one carrier that like did predominantly all the packages. So that could have been it too. Um, and he just came later in the day. 
but I also think the way everything's been going with some of these companies that like Amazon and whatever, they hire their own deliveries or delivery people. So I think that's cutting down on the mail carriers, which sucks because like, I feel like now we're getting so many things in the mail that you would think that we would need more mail carriers for the post office. Um, but they, that may not necessarily be the case depending on where you're located too. All right, so now I'm going into Paradise, which is that darker shade. Just tossing that in there, smudging it in the outer corner area. And then I'm gonna go into Sable on the pencil brush. This is an E30 from Sigma just because I want this to be more like isolated, not like super blown out. I can see like the sun reflection because the sun is in that direction. You guys, I just waited too long. I'm sorry. All right. There is a shade in here. I feel like I could use floor as like an inner corner highlight, but I don't know that that's what, like it's pink. So I don't know that I want to do a pink inner corner highlight and brow bone. So what I think I'm going to do is go into the Beauty Bay Living My Best Light. This highlighter palette is stunning. So I'm gonna go into this shade right here. This is Strobe. It's just a very icy white. There is a pink shade, which is what I put on my cheek. Um, it doesn't look pink, which is, I appreciate. These highlighters have been some of my favorites. I mean, if you want them to pop even more, obviously like, spray your brush or whatever but i also think like you can build them up without having to spray your brush and do all that which is nice all right and then the bravo Okay, I'm gonna go do some eyeliner, mascara, and then we'll come back for the lips. All right, you guys, I'm back. I did my eyeliner and mascara. I started to actually, like I tried to do my lip liner and then I realized I wasn't recording. So I have, like, I'm mad because I already unboxed it and talked about it and you know, the Jouer packaging is super cute. Um, this is the Honey Kiss Shimmer Lip Kit, Shine Balm and Lip Liner. So it comes with these two in here, which I've already unboxed them. Um, the lip liner is in the shade Sienna Shimmer, which I was like, Shimmer? Lip liner? All my lip liners are matte. Um, it's shiny. I'm not a huge fan fan of like metallic shades when it comes to like lipsticks. I mean, I I kept a couple of them during my declutter because at one point like they were my favorites. But now like I don't gravitate towards them that often anymore. I did start to like line the lips and fill it in a little bit. Um I didn't know like how the lip what is this? The lip enhancer shine balm was going to be but i figured with the shimmer uh lip liner i didn't know if i wanted to like have this all over the lip so i did a little bit into the lip and then i figured we'd go in with this one this is in the shade honey kiss which i like the name of it and it's just a really pretty shade Oh, it does have a scent. It 
It feels good. There's not a lot of color to it, so I probably should have done the lip liner all the way in. All right, doing that kind of blended the like shimmer lip liner, maybe into like the inner. I don't think it did, but like, I'm gonna tell myself it did. It feels good on the lips. I love the scent of it. Like, it's just a light fruity scent. It feels good. Like, I think if I had a different lip liner on, like the lip liner is not my thing. I feel like, yeah, cause the lip balm, I just did it right there, is a really pretty shade. I think that like by itself or on top of a different lip liner would be really pretty, but I don't know how I feel about like this lip liner. It's just, mm. no, it's not my thing. I'm gonna say it's a no for the lip liner, but the lip balm is really nice. Um, I would probably stick this in like my work coat or my like backpack. I would definitely take this with me because I think this is something that it's not gonna have a lot of color to it, which would be nice, but it's also hydrating on the lips. Like it feel it feels good. Um, and now because technically since. Uh, I'm vaccinated. They've lifted the mask mandate on some, some of the ships. I, I haven't checked into my command. I don't know. So we'll find out when I get there, but I feel like a lip balm isn't going to get on the inside of a mask. If I still have to wear it as bad as like some lipsticks, especially if it's like a lip balm that doesn't have a lot of color to it. So that's what I've been gravitating to for like work or a liquid lip, like, um, I don't know where I put it. Uh, the Too Faced liquid matte lipstick in sugar cookie has been my like number one go-to favorite lipstick, liquid lip, like lately. Love that one. Anyways, I'm getting way off topic. All right. So that's it for this look. I do have, I have some thoughts. So you already know, I don't particularly like the lip liner. The lip balm is good. This blush and bloom, like cheek and lip duo. I really like this. Now, am I always going to remember to like do this before I put my powder on? Probably not, but I feel like the next time I try it, maybe try it on top of a powder and see like, does it blend out well on top of a powder? Granted, I could be messing up my makeup if I actually have to go somewhere. So I do know that like, I like how it turned out today. What are your thoughts? Do you like this blush? Um, I use the shade Parasol, right? Yeah, Parasol is the shade that I used, which is really, really pretty. I, I gravitate towards the peachy shades. That's why I grabbed this one. Um, they have one that is in darker shades, which is really pretty, but I don't gravitate towards like, the pinks and like the fuchsias, like I gravitate to more towards like the peachy corals. Weird. I, I haven't always been like an orange person, but now for the French Riviera palette, the eyeshadows, the blendability was great. I liked how they blended out the, at least the brown shades. So I'm going to say, like the green shade is really pretty and so is the blue one. Um, the blue and the bronzy shade, they felt really powdery. So, I mean, they worked well. They look good on, the blue looks really good on the eye. I feel like, I don't know, like, I don't know that I'm in love with them. Then again, when I think of like French Riviera, Granted, I've never been there. When I, when I think of like the makeup and the concept of, you know, something being named after the French Riviera, 
Riviera. When I, and like looking at this, it's supposed to be like a wash of color. It's not supposed to be super vibrant, which I've been gravitating towards. So I think like technically for the concept of like what they were going for with this palette, that's what you're getting is you're gonna get that like wash of color, just subtle, beautiful, like for what this is supposed to be, I think it's pretty. I like the palette, I do. Um, am I gonna use it all the time? Maybe, uh, it depends on what I'm doing, honestly. Cause I have been gravitating towards a lot more palettes with like more vibrant, bold colors. So for me, like, I don't know. I'm glad I picked it up. I'm glad I tried it out. Uh, I've never, have I? I don't think I've ever used any of the Jouer um, eyeshadow palettes. I have used their lip products. I do like their lip products. The liner, not my favorite, but the balm is really good. Um, so for me, I like it. I'm glad I picked it up. I'll keep it in my collection for right now. I'll try it out some more. Um, but it is on their site now. I know that they put this collection out, I wanna say it was three or four days ago now, and it actually arrived pretty quickly. But, you know, I like it. I like it, all right? So that's it for this look. That's it for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Sorry I rambled so much. Um, it's hard to gather my thoughts when I'm kind of like focused on something else, but at the same time, like I love doing my makeup and I feel better and more confident when I have my makeup on. Like I can go outside and like not have makeup on and be fine, but I just, there's just something about the power of makeup and how I feel wearing it. But anyways, you guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button down below, hit the bell for notifications to new videos. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And until next time, you guys, bye. And I'll see you in my next one.